The field of algebra is fascinating. As you can see, there's equations and inequalities, there's graphing and systems of equations. We call them simultaneous equations in Nigeria. But you know, the thing about algebra is that it is the backbone of calculus, which is another class that you will get to take you know, topics in later on. But in algebra, algebra came, well, you know, from the Middle East is where it was sort of combined and compiled around 700 AD. But prior to the days of algebra, we had had the works of Euclid who wrote elements, the elements of geometry around 300 BC. And so when you look at the history of mathematics, initially you get a lot of arithmetic, right? People are trying to count how many cows or how many goats they had. And then as time went on, we started getting more sophisticated and more abstract in our reasoning. We got geometric reasoning in higher doses. By the way, the, we, we have the days of Abraham, I call it. We have the days of, uh, you know, we have the Babylonians, we have the Sumerians, <clears throat> we have the Chinese in, in math history. You can learn about um, math history from different eras in the Chinese dynasties. And then we have the Indian civilization. Many civilizations have a role to play in the history of mathematics. So then you swing right into about 700 BC. Around this time, there's a lot of things which, uh, you know, start happening. There's biblical prophecy that talks about this. But what happens is that we now start seeing around uh, 700 BC, we have a captivity that happens. And the Babylonians and the Assyrians, see world history, it's intense from about 700 BC to 500 BC. And during this time, there was a man named Daniel that actually went to the king's palace in Babylon. And he and his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, their names were actually Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. They were influential in the Babylonian empire. And then what happens is, if you study the Greeks, right, you have Pythagoras, you have tales of Miletus, you have some of these guys, and some of them actually learned from the Babylonians. This period of history from about 700 BC to about 300 BC, we see Euclid, again, we've talked about Pythagoras, some of the other people, of course, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, that is a whole project in and of itself. Just studying the thinkers from 700 BC to 300 BC, key thinkers that we still talk about today. Then we go down and come back, as I said, into about 700 AD, and that's where you get the algebra, the formalization of aspects of algebra. But from about 700 AD to 1500 AD, we didn't have calculus as robust as it was going to be. Now, we have Archimedes from the Greeks. Remember the Greeks I, we talked about? Okay, parents, here's an assignment for your students. They should study the lives of the following people. Archimedes, Tales of Melitus, 